Hello guys, Softony here, welcome to another video lesson and in this tutorial we're going to create this quick and easy transition, you can use it in your videos uh, step by step, also I want to thank you for watching my, my videos and for supporting me and let's see what we're going to create today. Alright, we're back here in After Effects and without any further ado, uh, let's start our project. First of all, like always, let's create a new composition, hit Ctrl plus N on your keyboard or this little icon here. Uh, for this uh, width and height I will do 9020 by 1080 It's okay to leave it at 30 frames per second, duration maybe to around 8 seconds. And for this composition name I will rename it to Transition. Hit OK and also let's drag and drop our media. I have already my footage here. Just drag and drop uh, your media. Of course, you will you will import your own. Just go File and then Import. Choose a specific file from your PC. OK, uh, now it's time to create our solid. Right click here in our timeline, then go New to create a new solid layer and we will call it Matte, also 9020 by 1080. Hit OK. And our first effect is going to be uh, radial, uh, radial wipe. Just go here in the effects and preset. Find it here, of course. If you can't find effects and preset, just go window and find here effects and preset. Okay, now it's time to animate uh, our matte layer. Go to around two seconds and fifteen frames, like so. Set up our first keyframe here on our uh, two seconds and fifteen frames. Go to around zero frames and type here one hundred. Now, as you can see, we have this uh, basic animation and we will do further adjustments here. Uh, hit U to show all of our keyframes, grab uh, our keyframes, hit F9 on your keyboard, go to Graph Editor and draw a curve like so. If you can't see this uh, Graph Editor, just go right click and find here Edit Speed Graph. Also, now it's time to um, uh, use our track mats, find here Alpha Mat. And if you can't find uh, alpha mat, uh, just go here to toggle switches and modes. And now when we hit zero, we have this uh, basic animation of our uh, media placeholder. Okay, now it's time to add another effect here on our mat layer. Go to effects and preset and find here turbulent displays and drag and drop onto our mat layer. Here also we will, made a few, we will make a few adjustments for amount go to around 200 instead of this tur turbulent change here to twist and also complexity 1.5. Also what we can do is to animate our evolution hit alt or hold alt on your keyboard and here type time asterisk 250 or so. And now when we hit zero we have this uh, really cool animation. Okay. Now it's time to uh, grab our layers here in our transition composition. Right click and then hit precompose. Make sure to move all attributes into the new composition. And for the composition name, uh, type your own name, but I will type it uh, media plus elements and then hit OK. Uh, now it's time to duplicate this uh, media. Uh, plus elements our composition and we will add here a triton effect for this uh, first media plus elements find here triton drag and drop onto our uh, first media plus elements uh, for the second one just reposition to maybe around uh, two frames or so and choose color according your media i will do for this one maybe uh, dark purple one and now when we hit zero we have animation like so also what we can do is to copy this control plus c uh, and then paste it here control plus v on this media plus elements also control plus d or go edit and then duplicate uh, this second one and move the third one to maybe around four frames uh, you can also delete now triton and now 
also change here from this uh, maybe dark purple to maybe blue one or so according to your needs hit ok and now when we hit zero we have this uh, really cool animation also what you can do is to change colors here right click find here your colors maybe pink for the first one maybe um, find here uh, purple for the second one find here blue and now when we hit zero you will see this really cool and awesome animation also what we can do for our last step is to create our background go right click here on our transition composition go to new find here solid layer for this uh, solid layer i will just type bg also full hd hit ok and go here uh, in effects and preset and find four color gradient drag and drop onto our background layer and now it's time to reposition our points for the first one go like here second one uh, like so third one here and fourth one maybe uh, to here or so uh, for the first color uh, find here maybe a uh, black one also uh, for this uh, third one maybe this uh, black uh, for the second color maybe to blow one and for the uh, fourth color uh, find here a uh, purple co color or so and maybe for the first color just change it to maybe also purple one or blue one play around to get the results that you want like so when you're satisfied just hit ok and now when we hit zero in our finals as you can see we have this uh, really cool background. You can also add another effects like a grid or ball action. Uh, also, you can duplicate, choose here a blending modes, play around, maybe overlay or screen. Uh, you will play around to get the result that you want. And now when we hit zero, as you can see, we have this uh, really cool and really easy to create animation. All right, guys, for the end, you can uh, pre-compose all of uh, our layers again to create our slide 01 and duplicate uh, this slide 01 to create our slide 02, 03 and so on to create your own slideshow also what you can do is to create your text if you want but for this tutorial purpose, uh, purpose I have shown you this uh, really cool technique uh, just play around to get the result that you want uh, also, I want to thank you for watching this tutorial and to tell you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.